Hi guys, we'll come back to this in a second. You might know, if you've watched my recent videos, I've been doing some homemade batteries uh, to power the solar wobblers. I've been taking the, or disconnecting the solar panels and running them on various things. This one's currently running on stainless steel pan scourers and Epson salts and it's a rechargeable battery every so often I put a bit of charge into it and she runs for about well uh, she runs for about 15 hours just now since last night anyway back to this while I was looking through my stock of bits and pieces to make the um, batteries and the solar rocker setup. I found I'd got this tucked away in one of my cupboards. Electronic Exploration. 70, 72 exciting and educational experiments. Yeah, covered in dust. You can see how long it's been stored away. Uh, originally from says John Lewis down here, so I should think it was probably a Christmas special. But I have an idea. Uh, I want to make a little uh, pendulum effect using a circuit similar to the solar rockers but not the same. And I think there's enough bits and pieces in here to do it. Well, nearly enough bits and pieces. There isn't actually uh, a coil, so I happen to have one here that I wound round a sewing bobbin uh, quite a long time ago. I've no idea how many turns of wire there is or what thickness that wire is. It's thicker than the stuff we get in the solar rockers because we can actually see it. That's one of the solar rocker ones, so I think you can tell the difference in the thickness of the wire there. Anyway, so that one I know works, or at least it did last time I used it. This little setup has got a couple of transistors on it, NPN and PNP. And I think I should be able to make up... Um, one of those A-stable multi-vibrators. Flashing LED. I think that would do. If I set that up, then instead of flashing the LED, I can get it to pulse the coil and I've got a magnet on a bit of cotton, so that should make it swing. Yeah, a flashing LED would do it. I did have an idea about doing a We've got a darkness activated and a light activated thing, which would be something else we could do. We're getting a bit off topic because what I'm really doing at the moment is making batteries. But I just one of the suggestions I had was I could use one of my batteries to do one of these um, pendulum things. So. Can we see what we're doing? I think we can. If we still got enough bits of wire in this kit. 1 to 76. Uh, have we got a number 1? Are they in logical order? Oh, number 1, so that would be the battery terminal. Number 2. 1 to 76, where's 76? 
76 is the on off switch. Can they go right the way across there? Yeah. So 1 to 76. 2 to 3. Well, so that looks like we're going to be using 6 volts. Two to three, seventy-four to sixty-four to thirty-six. To 30, yeah, all right, we've got enough bits. Seventy-four. Where's seventy-four? Well, that's capacitor. Seventy-four to sixty-four. Sixty. Sixty-four. That's a bit tight. Colours of the different lengths, I think. So 74 to 64, 64. Base collector emitter. Oh no, hang on. That's a variable resistor. Okay, that's the centre point of a variable resistor. 74, 64, 36. Thirty-five, thirty-six LED. Okay. Uh, well, we'll wire down to there for now, but that's where I'll want to put my coil. Thirty-six. Sixty-four, thirty-six. 36 to 34, another LED. Oh, okay. Oh, that's enough. Yeah. Okay, I understand. And 77. Where's 77? The other side of the switch. Green one, seventy four, seventy seven. Okay, sixty five to seventy. There's seventy, there's sixty five. Some short white one should do. to 70 that's another capacitor there to 35 across there white one should do Thirty-one to thirty-one. Thirty-one. Now we're getting up to the transistors. That's the collector of the. Transistor. Okay, 26 to 37, 26, the emitter to one side of the LED, okay. Twenty eight to thirty collector to base. Still recording, yeah, still recording. Still 
so 28 collector to 30 base Four to twenty nine, that'd be four to twenty nine. There, that's quite a short one. Four twenty nine. To sixty, uh, sixty. Oh, right down here, resistor. Oh, hang on. Yep, yeah, that is right. Four to twenty-nine to sixty. Twenty-nine down to sixty. 75 other side of that capacitor short wire 60 75 71 to 59 71 other side of that capacitor Fifty nine, fifty nine, other side of that resistor to twenty seven, twenty seven base, twenty seven base to fifty nine. Okay, so that should be a flashing LED or a pair of flashing LEDs. Know what these batteries are like. On. Okay. Both LEDs are on. Variable resistor. Off. Flashing. Slow flashing. That is actually a slow, so I can get them going. So let me go the other way. Yeah, that's fast. So my idea is to replace one of those LEDs with this coil. If I want to do that, I could just replace that wire. If I go on there, pull that wire out of there, go on there. So that should now be this one should be a pulsing magnet if it's got enough power. Yeah. Obviously it'd be more convincing if I wasn't actually holding the end of the string. So I'll rig up a little tripod. So we switch that off and I'll get some bits of bamboo cane or something to make a tripod. Okay. Bamboo canes in a little uh, tripod. 
just using the springs to hold them in place. Got the magnet swinging on the bit of cotton. Over that coil. So if I switch it on. That's completely random the direction it moves. That bit of wire is going to catch it. Let's push that down. I do have something like this upstairs in one of the bedrooms that I made uh, years ago using the circuit from one of those solar beam bots. Can you see this swinging around? Yes, we can. I guess I could alter the speed. And if I got it just right to match the swing of the pendulum, and it would do its maximum swing. Looks like I've got it just wrong at the moment. <laughs> Slow it down again a bit. Oh, there we go. That was uh, just making up a uh, magnet pendulum using an existing uh, electronics kit that just happens to have a couple of transistors in it that we could use. But I'd already made up that coil. Just wondering if we can reduce the voltage and still get it working. I've no idea. Well, I could soon look up which transistors those are. I'll disconnect that. Looks like it will run on just three volts. one that I've got upstairs runs on a little solar panel.
that'll do, it works. That's the circuit I'm using. Just a a stable multi vibrator. If you want to look one up on the web. I've just replaced one of the LEDs with the coil. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there.